Hello, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is the 21st of December and I received a very good parcel which is very early for me in Germany to get it because this is the December book box YA and adult and I think they shipped it very very early just to make sure that everyone gets them before the holiday season so yeah let's just look at these editions really happy to have them so early so we have this picture which looks super cool I love her obviously because she has a book in her hands that's always a plus but in general this is a very very beautiful design nice composition lots of details on it oh yeah it was for this one very excited for this Egyptian book so let's see should be the young adult one I think so the edges are very light orange color a little bit pinkish also which is not really shown in this camera and the edition looks very very interesting Ooh, I love that it doesn't really fit <laughs> in the frame but I think you get the gist of it the spine is also very beautiful I love that that's so cool. Nice. Look at the spoiling. Very nice. Very, very cool. And the back looks like this. And the, sp uh, the sprayed edges. Quite simple. Very similar to, for example, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairy Tales. In terms of just style but it's quite cool nothing too special in here but yeah it fits Ooh. so yeah, not really any characters or background just more of a texture oh never mind we do have a character on here okay cool that is quite nice indeed. Ooh, and the naked heart bag is very nice as well. My spine over here. I love all these glyphs. Oh my god, and this is also very, very cool some crocodiles very very cool also looks great with the spread edges again such a nice color combination just look at the back it looks like the same and then we also have a reverse dust jacket which looks to be the same as the art print so that's how it looks very Egyptian again I love that that is so cool very very nice but it's I think not something that I would like to have as a cover, but it's nice as an illustration to look at. Because I am in a minority of preferring text on my books. I know some people love it if there's no text and just artwork. I'm not one of those people, I think, but it is quite cool. And we also have foil like in the inside flap. Look at that. Isn't that very luxurious? And let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Signature. 
and the map also very Egyptian like ancient history like that's super cool great timeline here and a prologue cool with a quote called by Henry James interesting probably a heart of darkness or whatever it's called I think that's by him but I haven't read it yet I do own it obviously and then we have different parts which have a little design on it as well and an annotated an annotated chap oh my god look at that if that's not cool that is so cool and we have a lot of pages with these Yay, excited for that part. So, we have the Young Adult book, yes. Really excited about this one. I had it on my radar. So, really excited to have a very cool edition now of it. And it's a historical fantasy set in Egypt, filled with adventure and rivals to lovers' romance and a dangerous race. A lot of things that I love. I love historical books, obviously love fantasy. Love Egyptian stuff. I hope it goes somewhat into gods, myths, something like that. Just like exploring places. Adventure, nice. Dangerous race could be interesting. Rivals to lovers is alright. It's not the worst. Romance trope. And yeah. Exclusive redesigned cover. Love that. If it's very unique. Bonus content, digital signature, yeah. Oh yeah, and the letter from the author on the back of this. Yeah, I love everything about this edition. The end papers could have been, I don't know. I don't want to say more Egyptian, but I don't know. But they are quite cool with the foil and the flow of the whole page. No, I love everything about it. Very nice edition indeed. Let's see for the adult one. Oh yeah, which was this one. This is going to be really interesting. So this is our art print. Fits this one, kind of in vibe. But I do prefer this one actually. I think this one's very cute. And this one's... I don't know, just not my cup of tea so that's how that one looks like probably with the letter on the back yes and let's see what the book looks like oh, very vibrant blue sprayed edges and okay the cover looks interesting Oh yeah, Firebound, that's what it was. Oh my god, that foil. A Fable, not Firebound, sorry. Oh my freaking god, this looks amazing. I don't know if the video does it justice, but oh my god, it looks amazing in person. The foil is very nice. I love the colors. I love that they changed it, but kept the design, because I really love the design of the original cover. But these colours, oh my god, this is absolutely breathtaking. Spine, also very cool, will look very good on a shelf, back, very nice as well. Sprayed edges, nice detail on here, for sure. And yeah, just blue on top and bottom, but it does look very good together. Let's see, oh my god, didn't expect that pop of color. <laughs> very nice idea to have this complementary color in here, and the design is cool. Okay, we've got our art print in here again. I'm not the biggest fan of this left half, but this is very, very nice. I love that. Reminds me of Art Nouveau, 
a little bit. But yeah, that's cool. Very, very cool design. Got the signature right here as well. And on the back, oh, it's different. That's quite cool as well. Little bit focuses. Kind of. It's a very, very cool design on here. Looks like some very cool magic happening in here. So I'm curious about that. And let's see the naked artwork. Mm -hmm. Also quite cool. Spine. Oh, it has some symbols on here, nice. And the back so it's quite cool. And yeah, it does look quite cool with the spread edges together. Alright, and then we also have a reverse dust jacket on here. So it looks like that. And the tree. Our main characters, I guess, on here. I have no idea what the book is about, by the way. <laughs> but it does look cool. Yeah, I prefer this cover for sure. Also, I mean, both of these together look amazing. All the gold foil, love it. And let's look inside. We've got some leaves, beautiful, and a very pretty map, very detailed. Oh my god, look at that, isn't that cute? All kinds of stuff in here. And then it starts. Ooh, wait, got little pictures in here, nice, let's see if there's bonus content, ooh, this looks quite special, is it annotated as well, no, don't tell me it is, ooh, that's cool, so it's made to look like some kind of notebook, and we have an exclusive bonus chapter as well. Very cool. Nice! The editions just get better and better with more bonus content. Like everything is special in some way. There's just illustrations missing and these would be the best editions ever. So yeah, that was very quick. We've done it all. Love these editions. Oh yeah, we didn't read what this one was about. Whoops. So, Feybound is a tale of two sisters forced out of the elven lands and into the terrifying wilderness only to discover their seductive fey court, which has not been seen for a millennium. Interesting. So, I've got all that special stuff in here. And if you want to know more about the books, so for this one, here's the inside flap for you, if you want to read it. The Mummy Meets Death on the Nile, sounds really, really cool, 19th century, nice. Yeah, this could be amazing. I wish it was an adult book, but it's alright. And... The first book in a new trilogy, interesting. Yeah, I haven't read the other series by Sarah Arifi, but I'm really excited. I also love the diversity in these authors right now, just based on their names. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> I think this is a very good selection. I was interested in both of these editions for sure, wanted to read them anyway, so to have these really nice editions now i'm 
very happy about and I can't wait to read them eventually and yeah I can't decide which one is more pretty they are both exceptional in their own way like I love both of them for sure no I can't decide <laughs> I really can't love them so yeah that was the video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one this has been the last fairy unboxing for this year but I'm very excited for next year's also fairy Loot is coming out with their romanticy book box in April I think so that's going to be very exciting as well I'm still not sure if I want to subscribe to it because I do like some romanticy but I also hate others so it's going to be very hard to maybe skip some books I don't know I'm not the type to skip any books, but uh, it's hard, it's hard. I will have to decide, but yeah, these ones look amazing. So, yeah, I'll see you soon. I hope you had a very nice start into the next year, because I think this is going to be uploaded in 2024. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Take care and happy reading. Bye.